believe it or not, we got a new Nukes Top 5 fresh out of the oven. And we're going to watch it together. And it's going to be terrifying. This video came out a couple of days ago. And it's top scary ghost videos to creep you out. This one is about 25 minutes long, so it, it's not a long video. I'm really happy because when they reach um, like 35, 40 minutes, I'm normally really you know, exhausted because I'm terrified for 40 minutes. Like really terrified for 40 minutes. Before we go ahead and watch the video, we thank the amazing, cool, awesome people for the, for the amazing support, channel members, and patrons. A divine shout out to the supreme donors Bob, Buddha Squirrel, David Bankson, Deja, Peggy, T Mag, Southern Mom, Walt, William. And James, you want to join them? The link for Patreon is in the comment section. And click join to see what you get. Now, let's shut the hell up and get terrified. And get terrified. I'm taking that and it's just working a okay. It is. Water. Reaching out. This next video was sent to me by Nukes Top viewer Philip Whitaker from Burnley, England. In his email, Philip says that he has had several strange experiences around his home, but has never caught anything on camera. Until now. Shit. One night, his fiance is sitting quietly in the living room when this happens. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Is that an orb? Holy shit. The faint humming of a woman can be heard as a pale translucent mist seems to fly directly over Philip's girlfriend, sending her running from the room in panic. Yeah, she ain't having any of that. Philip and his fiance have no idea what they captured on their security camera. But what do you think this is? A freaking ghost? Caught live on camera. Live streamer Kayoya's Twitch and YouTube channels are focused on gameplay and Pokemon. None of his videos or live streams have any connection with the paranormal. Now this is what's going to creep me out because this dude is not out for the paranormal. He's doing like Pokemon and stuff like that. So this is actually like super terrifying because he is not going for it. He's not doing it for the, uh, for the paranormal whatsoever. Which makes this next clip very strange. During one of Kayoya's live streams on Twitch, he is playing a game and talking to his audience when he hears something behind him. He's not coming guys, Brock's not coming. Oh no. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. How many people we got? Hello? Well, it sounds like a CD falling over. But then again, who owns CD? Who owns a CD at this moment? Go check it out, dude. We were right here. Okie dokie. It's gonna um, get worse. 
my little hand vacuum fell over for some reason. Um, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, just uh, shrug it off. <laughs> Kayoya explains that his handheld vacuum has mysteriously just fallen to the floor. But did you see it? Nope. The live streamer is completely unaware, but a dark, shadow-like figure seems to peek into frame right behind him. Kayoya has no idea who or what this is. In a follow-up video, he explains exactly where it happened. Okay, so right over here is where he was caught. Um, here's the little hand vacuum that kind of just went like that. Probably a little softer, but uh, that's roughly what it seemed to be. It was right here on the floor, so that's nice. Also, here's the stairs going up, and uh, here, I will, uh, I'll go up them, just so that you, uh, you all know what it sounds like. Where do you live, dude? Oh, I am being just soft as I can, and it still makes this much noise. So, like, don't even try, bro, trust me. So even if this was just a real person, then who was it? And I, again, again, I say this, I say this, I would rather have a ghost behind me than a real person. And how did they not make a sound on the creaky staircase? Kayoya believes that he might have captured a paranormal event live on camera. But as always, I leave it up to you to decide. Yeah, that's probably a ghost though. I'm saying it. Yeah, it's out there. It's a ghost. Child's play. Oh, shit. Marika DeVitt from the Netherlands posts on TikTok that she is worried about her youngest son. Two-year-old Mateo is playing in his room upstairs when Marika hears the boy yelling. She hurries upstairs to check on him, but everything seems fine. But when she looks at her security footage to see what the problem was, she is shocked. Shit. Who are you talking? Who are you talking to? See what the problem was. I gotta see it again. She is shocked. Uh, I hate this. I hate. Did that? Who? What? Okay, first of all, why is the kid alone? Me? That's just me. It's a toddler, for Christ's sake. Where the hell is the parent here? Mateo appears to be looking at and even arguing with someone or something that we can't see. Then the two-year-old seems to be pushed backwards onto the floor. Now Marika says that Mateo is fine and was completely unharmed. But this is where the story takes a very strange turn. Yeah, you see Marika things. says that she was originally pregnant with triplets, but sadly the other two fetuses failed to develop, leaving only little Mateo. Marika believes that Mateo might be visited by the spirits of his unborn siblings. But okay. what do you think happened to little... Well, it just turned into be uh, like a normal ghost story to something completely mentally... I got, I got goosebumps, and I, I'm telling you, this is probably the, one of the worst goosebumps I have. Well, Mateo, let me know. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, Contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Sticks and stones. Belgian urban explorer Jens from the YouTube channel Simtex travels to a small town in Germany to explore a 120-year-old abandoned sanatorium. The sanatorium was built in 1905 to treat patients suffering from severe and life-threatening lung disease. The clinic eventually closed its doors in 1992, but the structure was wow. left to rot and decay for almost 30 years. Jens is joined by his friends as they attempt to do a paranormal investigation inside the sanatorium. Okay, so here we go. It, it did not go well. Uh, There's it, going to be 
hopefully something like a soft start. We need a soft start, okay? Because we have been watching Nuke Tubs 5 for the latest three videos we have we watched is that like super scary in the beginning. Then it starts to slow down. I want that. I want the opposite. I want you to do like steps, all right? So we're gonna, oh, that's not, that's not that bad. And we go upwards and we finish off with some completely mentally terrifying, please. Orium. The mantid like structure is a bit remote, hidden away and surrounded by woods. So when the explorers begin to hear strange, unexplained noises coming from outside, they're understandably a little freaked out. Outside? Het was wel duidelijk dat er mensen waren, meerdere mensen zelf. Ik persoonlijk had maar één persoon gezien, maar als ik de videobeelden achteraf traag bekijk, zie ik zelf meerdere mensen. Hier zie je duidelijk vier personen staan, waaronder drie met zaklamp. Het moment dat ik naar buiten keek, deden er twee personen hun zaklamp uit. Wat? Dat is dus al iets wat niet klopt. Mensen die hun niet herkenbaar willen maken, dat klopt gewoon niet. En dat wisten wij. Die angst dat we hadden, was niet normaal. Er is hier iemand. Nee, nee, ik heb echt iets duidelijk gezien. Ja, het, was een, ja, het was een zaklamp en ik heb een P gezien. The Simtex team see the glare of multiple flashlights nearby and fear that there might be dangerous people lurking just outside. Then they hear something downright chilling. Yeah, that's it. Ja, als het feit dat ze niet antwoorden is raar. Ja, dat is inderdaad. Op het moment toen we riepen hallo, goeden dag, niemand antwoordde. Waarom zou je niet antwoorden? Dat is het bewijs dat het slechte intenties had. Ja, deze is ons bang het maken. Deze is ons maar buiten aan het lokken. The Airbex group is shocked as it sounds like the people outside are hacking and stomping away at the very building itself. The entire foundation seems to shake and rubble starts to fall from the ceiling above them. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Snel, kom hier, Fia. Kim. Alles oké? Okay? Hè? Ça va, Kim? Ça va, Kim? Alles oké? Okay? One of the towers of the sanatorium gives way and collapses, almost coming down right on top of them. They make a run for it and just barely make their escape from the collapsing building. Now they are in a panic and the group hurries through the woods to find their way back to the small road near the sanatorium. But when they get there, they encounter four young men who are acting very suspiciously. What the f***? Hey, are you open space? What? Airbags. Are chill? Yes, yes. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, well, are, are you, you okay? We, we make uh, lost places. Huh? Lost places. But we yeah. were inside? But we are, uh, we are inside? Bitte? We are inside? No. No. We are, we are inside. 
Maar niet meer. Mathieu, 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 rustig. Zeg gewoon een keesje of zo. Ik ben overheid. Hè? Maar niet hebben ze. Engels. Wat? 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 Hier. Wat heb je dan? Hij valt het hier. Ja, yes, but you broke the house. It's coming we down. We were inside. No. I saw you. Is it? Yes, we were inside. Look. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. Are you okay? We're nearly dead. Do you, do you have a wound or a no, verletzing? Are you injured? Look, we are scared. Yes, I know. What happened? Do we heard it only? You? I don't know what you do, yeah, but you have stepped uh, the building, it's no, going down. We he was inside. Yes, no, we were not have inside. Seen you. <laughs> I have seen you. We have all the cameras. Hey, don't go quiet. Quiet talk. No, I think that we are going to go and we are going to do it. But where are you? Where are you? But what are you doing? Why are you guys doing this? Why? Why are you doing this? Er is nog wer drin in dem Haus. Was nee, die kan doch mal rausgerannt. Also ihr seid komplett. No, 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 no. We are not with them, eh? Hey. We are just tourists. I don't know what they do, but they, they come out. Wer war da jetzt drinnen? Wart ihr drinnen? Die, 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 dass es von außen für uns zu gefährlich ist, da reinzugehen. Daraufhin haben wir Kehrt gemacht und sind wieder rausgegangen. Ja. Nee, so. das ist nicht wahr. Aber ich Aber ich kommt jetzt auf Bus? Gibt es nicht Er Er liegt, er liegt, er liegt. Maar rustig, maar wij deden ook niet. Dat is een fucking mega. Deze content moeten jullie zien, want deze is gestoord. Mensen die gewoon expres een gebouw laten instorten. Wij zaten daar binnen. Wat is dat dan? Wat is dat? Kijk, nu hoort je hier, hier een alarm afgaan. Dit is dus effectief voor ons. Hè. Ja. Dat is dus een brandweer die wordt opgeroepen omdat er een, een, iets ingestort is. De jonge man claimt dat ze niets te maken hadden met de partial collapse van het sanatorium dat almost ended the Simtex team. Maar het lijkt fairly obvious dat ze de culprits zijn. A-holes. Definitely A-holes. Man, er zijn some creepy people out there. Doing things to kill others. I mean, I hope you guys, whoever Semtex or whatever, uh, you actually like call the uh, cops on them. In minutes, police, ambulances, and firemen arrive on the scene. Jens tells them exactly what happened, but the four mysterious young men have now fled into the night, never to be seen again. Jens points out that one of the men was holding a large wooden object that he believes they might have used to beat at the base of the rotting building, causing the collapse. Luckily, Jens and all of his friends escaped without a scratch. What are the odds of them actually being there at the same time? These guys are super local. They live in that like small village close by. This incident is yet another example of why I always say people are usually scarier and much more dangerous than anything paranormal. I agree. You can watch this entire chilling video over on the YouTube channel, Simtex. High School Horror. Reddit user responsible ad as a security guard at a high school in Mexicali, Mexico. One night, he hears the sound of someone talking just outside on the school grounds. When he goes to check it out, he gets the scare of a lifetime. <laughs> Stop with the creepy music. Uh. <laughs> Did you see it? Oh my god! When the god. video is brightened and slowed down, a strange face can be seen quickly moving out of sight behind the air conditioning unit oh at the corner my of the god. building. The oh my god, I hate that. Oh, that's, the, that's the, probably the number one thing I do not want to see or encounter. Because that would send me to the, the loony bin, whatever you want to call it, like in an instant. Security guard runs to check it out, but... There's nothing there. What makes this footage even stranger is that no legs or feet can be seen 
almost as if this head has no body. The security guard is freaked out and claims wow. that what he saw was absolutely something paranormal. Ah, yeah. He says that he searched the high school grounds but never found anyone. So what do you think this is? I don't want to know. Dude. Let me know. I don't care. In the pines. Facebook user Silas Nepash is with his friends exploring the beautiful snowy landscape of Quebec, Canada, when suddenly they spot something very strange in the distant tree line. What? Something happened over there. I'm telling you, Teresa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Now this odd video went viral and many Facebook viewers noticed what looked like a large humanoid figure that seemed to actually be picking up the trees and carrying them. Some Facebook comments claim that the figure is a Sasquatch or Yeti, and some even believe it could be uh, aliens. Either way, just what do you think is going on here? Again, I don't want to know. It freaks me the hell out. Let me know down in the comments. Sticking his neck out. OG paranormal live streamer Allah from the YouTube channel Adventurer Allah is back on yet another creepy live exploration. This time Allah is at an old empty warehouse located somewhere in Saudi Arabia. Locals say that the building was abandoned because it is haunted by an evil entity or quote jinn. Allah is a little nervous as he explores the property grounds. And he should be, because strange things start to happen almost immediately. And watch this. I've seen this before, uh, not this video. Patrick McCann? This guy. His videos are insane. Jesus Oh my Bismillah. lord. Bismillah. Bismillah. Uh, Bismillah. Bismillah. I'm saying it. I'm saying it to you with you, dude. Bismillah. Oh, my lord. Bismillah. 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 Allah searches the property but is unable to find any explanation for this strange phenomena. But what happens next is very odd and downright chilling. Gosh. A lot of peeping ghost. I can't handle it. What the hell? What? What? Allah al Kawiyu wa antum al Dhuafa. Is it a cat? Hasbullah, when I'm a wakil. La 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 the neck straightens out and seems to raise up as if the stuffed animal is alive. And with that, Allah has had about enough. He ends the live stream and just gets out of there. The explorer believes that he might have captured a manifestation of the sinister gin that is said to haunt the abandoned warehouse. That's incredible. But what do you think is going on here? Again, uh, I don't know and I do not want to know. Is it a haunted stuffed giraffe? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Into the woods. YouTube user Rexyboy34 claims that he was out in the woods with his friends just kind of messing around and taking pictures and videos. Then he spots something strange near the trees. Really weird filming though. What are you doing? Oh, 
What the hell is that? Behind you. I'm being serious, there was some up there. There was. I'm not, there was some up there. Someone or something comes lurching from the forest towards them. The group seems overcome with fear and they make a run for it. Now, YouTube user Rexyboy34 only ever posted this one video to his YouTube channel. So it's kind of hard to say whether this footage is real or perhaps more likely maybe just a prank. Bro. But either way, I'd wager that this girl was not in on the prank because, well, look at her. Yeah, but that's terrifying. Something fishy is going on. Data from the popular Indian YouTube channel Crazy About Fishing and Cooking as well. He's crazy about fishing and cooking, I guess. Anyway, all of Data's videos are about his hobby of fishing in rivers and lakes in India and then cooking the fish he caught. On one of his fishing trips, he is joined by two of his friends as they hike deep into the wilderness to find the best spot to fish. They make their way through thick vegetation and even cross a creek by using a small fallen tree as a makeshift bridge. Now it goes without saying that when they finally find a fishing spot, it is very remote and no one should be there but them. But yeah. as the sun is setting and the day comes to an end, this happens. One, one, one. Someone or something can be seen mysteriously running through the dark woods near Data and oh, his friends. Dude. They yell out to the stranger, but whoever it is does not answer. Even weirder, the person just seems to disappear amongst the trees. Data says that this was the most terrifying experience he's ever had while fishing. And to this day, Data and his friends still don't know who or what they saw. Many viewers of his YouTube channel believe they might have had a paranormal encounter. What? But I don't know. you decide. Well, what I can't decide. is this? It's a guy. Let me know down in the comments. That has been following them. Just passing by. This next video is a bit of a mystery because the video was reposted to TikTok without any mention of the original source. The video shows CCTV footage of a man who seems to be walking down a staircase in his home. But what happens next is truly bizarre. Bizarre, I can do bizarre. Well, at least he's using the stairs. He's not flying around and creeping on on the, the ceiling. A shadow-like figure seems to pass right by the man as it creepily climbs up the stairs. But the man doesn't even seem to notice the eerie dark shape. Now, without a source, we'll never know whether this footage is real or just an elaborate hoax. But let me know what you think. I don't want to know, dude. So be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you don't I already did long time ago. I suggest you guys do the same. Uh, another fantastic video by Nukesclub5. I love his stuff beyond. And every time there's a new video, I always go for it directly. Um, 
love them all right i'm gonna wrap it up here guys thank you so much for watching uh smack the like and of course hit that subscribe until next time i am recky you stay safe